Hey, what's going on, everybody? Drew from Future Strategy Gaming. This is another reaction video. Um, so I took a look at the next two that I have on my list from some more Bellular content, and it looks like they're both about 10 minutes each. So we're going to do two videos within this one video. Uh, <laughs> as I was editing my last two videos, I noticed that I did not have my wedding ring on. So if my wife ever sees this, she probably won't. I am sorry. Let's uh let's get to it. Make sure you hit the like button if you like this video and uh, hit subscribe if you want to see more of this content. Shameless self plug. Cool. Let's get started. All right. Um, we've got Candy Kit saying Shadow. I assume they mean Shadow Bringers. Mm -hmm. uh, raids pay off a lot more when you do level synced fifty ARR extreme trials. Yes or no? I yeah. don't know. Yeah, that. I mean they're okay, pretty sweet. So synced means doing things at that level, mm -hmm. which you uh, can okay. do. So the raids that are in like a Realm Reborn or in uh, you know in Heavensward in Stormblood, mm -hmm. you can do those now. And class it's like design time is different, so it's not exactly intact, mm. but the raid is intact. You'll be down at an appropriate difficulty level. Mm -hmm. It is kind of, imagine if time walking wasn't so janky. He gets right. it. Right. That's what it feels like. To the point where uh, there's the ultimate Bahamut fight. Uh, the I've only ever watched it. It is insane. Is. You actually straight up, like, that's not a thing you can do. Like, synced because it's really hard oh, it is right so it's 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 almost like oh yeah i've heard you know you hear that say i'm trying to think of a good fight you know people say oh ba battle of desire lore is one of the best raids yeah. in a long time what i wonder what mythic jaina feels like and you can't experience that i got cutting edge for mythic jaina that is not one of the best raids in a long time that raid uh has problems fights on an individual basis are good that raid has problems but in ff i could in ff you can go experience that you just you need to have yeah. the people but you can just go do that the rewards don't True. like you'll get like rewards the cosmetics for time, so gear from the time for like uh, appearances and stuff like that yeah but it is just you can do it synced for the experience it's not intact but it um, is there but see that just has me thinking why you would go back uh it, it's like transmog in wow except they mean something i guess is the best way to say it like glam's a big deal within the final fantasy 14 and uh to go back and to do some of that older content and achieve things that not a lot of players have you know if there are a million players and only 800 of them have this specific transmog you're held in pretty high high esteem in that situation and uh you know it's uh it's kind of like a flex without being a jerk in that situation you get a title as well i think for a lot of this stuff um and uh it, it's it's a flex without being an, an ass about it oh if if i could like can I go do Desar Lore as it was? That'd be so incredible. Gross. But that actually yeah. doesn't work with WoW because Desar Lore was all. designed around Heart of Azeroth and yeah. Azerite armor and all of that yeah. stuff. Yeah. So yeah. it wouldn't really work with WoW. But yeah. in principle, you know, the idea of basically, from what I understand, mm -hmm. it's not like mythic time walking because yeah. time walking your right. full character transports yeah. back in time and it's scaled. Mm -hmm. Whereas in FF, like you lose abilities yeah, that yeah you yeah. didn't have yeah. you know if it would send yeah. you actually back to a except for the ultimates the right now playing, which i guess is how they can have all of those fights still work yeah I think. it's a bit like how if you get a whole bunch of level 60s in world of warcraft now and you send them to you know into molten core yeah they're gonna absolutely cream it well, yeah, here here's one thing that's kind of weird about that and it's like some of it comes down to the design of classes they've definitely right. changed right yeah. definitely massively massively different for both strong, games uh classes and there's even whole mechanics that are gone now yeah like the original tp mechanic which was uh oh, i can't remember what it was what technique it points for, but it was basically like you used it up for physical abilities sure right instead of you don't you know, use mana for magic use right. this for original stuff and then uh it was like for it was basically used as a, to limit certain abilities yeah so most yeah. abilities so you didn't most, spam it uh, melee classes would re regen more TP than they use, unless you were spamming AOE, AOE for example. Yeah. So I I played a warrior back when TP was still a thing, and going into a thing and pressing my AOE ability, I couldn't spam it. I'd run out of TP. Yeah. And that kind of sucked. But that's just gone now. So yeah, you, you don't deal with that anymore. So it's not a big so there's deal. There's definitely been like big changes that are good, 
but it's like it's completely oh yeah and that's right someone in the chat just said the sprint ability ate your entire tp bar yeah that's back in the day the speed thing you can use in combat when i you remember that okay. and that was that used to be frustrating but so yeah so the, the, like the the point i was making there was it's like it's, and there were fights the designed where you had to all of that specifically use it at like, the right time like uh Kuang Ma, certain format on the topic of Ultimate Bahamut, which is the unending coil of Bahamut. Uh, the weapon you get from it and tr for Transmog is unique, and the title okay. is very prestigious. Right. And that's because it's literally the hardest shit in the game. Right. The that's what I was is, saying. Is, is Bahamut, what's that the boss of? Uh, there's a raid the, that doesn't, isn't part of the main stuff. Raids are not part of the MSQ. Right. An optional raid in A Realm Reborn is the Binding Coils of Bahamut, mm -hmm. ah, which right. is this series of raids. Mm -hmm. I, I haven't even done them. I really should. Yeah, I've only really watched should. videos, but, but they look amazing. Them. And they seem amazing. Mm -hmm. Also, yeah, they're because there's a storyline attached to A Realm Reborn Raids, I can just go do them and it'll be fun. Yeah. But it's like, that's what that is. There's, yeah. oh, man. there's another thing, Unreal Trials, that Nino oh, yes. just supered Unreal, us uh, yeah, about Unreal that trials. as well. Yeah. So I actually have no idea how difficult they are, right. but they are limited time availability. Yeah. Available but they're things. scaled to max so I think, level. I think they're in Shadowbringers. Not release, scaled. Uh, they're old fights, but designed anew and harder. So you've got you've got your trials, which are like I was talking about the raid bosses that are, you know, single boss mm -hmm. uh, part of the MSQ. That's mm -hmm. what a trial is. Mm -hmm. I think there's some that are optional as well. I honestly I don't completely get the distinction between trials and raids outside of trials seem generally easier. Right. Uh, uh, trials are one boss. And raids, if he's talking about final, raids are, each level is typically four bosses. Um, and then there are varying levels of uh, difficulty that you can uh, but choose to do it at. The Unreal ones are extremely, extremely difficult. Mm -hmm. So they're, yeah, they're Unreal Trials, or the ARR is extreme, scaled up to 80. Which is right, content, right. Okay. Which is different from going back into an extreme because you have your whole toolkit at that but point it's like it's just <laughs> this is where i struggle because it's like there's so yeah, there's much there's so like, much going on yeah. Yeah, there's so many terms but it's like as far as i understand extreme trials are a sense essentially uh slightly easier than savage rates gotcha. which are which right. are difficult rates which are like heroics sure. uh no beyond that. okay Probably. no uh if you're coming from wow it is traditional trials Extreme Trials, which are essentially your heroic version of the raid, and then Savage, which is like doing mythic content for basic comparison's sake. Probably, probably a, I, I don't know how they compare to mythic rating in WoW because they're like eight people. I do. And the entire difficulty is different. And here's actually one of the things. Uh, Forget about the size. For all intents and purposes, right. what I said so, was right. Yeah, if people say Unreal is what time walking would be conceptually. Yeah. Uh, yes. But my point I was making was more about how. I was talking about all the TP stuff, but it's... So now that you do a time walking dungeon. Yeah. And mm -hmm. some things don't work because you just have a completely different toolkit. Right. For how fights work. The vast majority of fights in FF don't give a shit about what buttons you're pressing. Outside <laughs> of healing. I mean, kind of. Reduction and your DPS. So it's not like you're doing a load of CC at the right times. Mm. There's some fights where I think you can use like slowing CCs and stuff and they're helpful. But they're very rare. Most of it is literally just character movement. Right. Okay. Your character movement in a group. Execute your rotation and your character movement. That's how fights are designed. Right. And it's such a different toolkit than what World of Warcraft tends to use. It's Typically. similar, but for like dungeons and stuff, it's just completely. Oh man, it's complete. <laughs> it's completely nuts, honestly. That's it's completely neat. epic. Apple Store Sword. oranges, though. It's two different games. Apple Basic Sword, yeah, says they even made the Judy Finder part of the lore, which is just amazing. Oh, that was that so was, good. That was so uh, good. I don't think they did that before at all before Shadowbringers. Nope. But when there's a moment in that, uh, where kind of. It does kind of become. It's not a part of the main story quest, but you can do squadrons for leveling. Um, part of the lore. It doesn't completely make sense. But mm, kind of. There's a little bit of it does in a way that they haven't. They'll probably do it further in Endwalker, but they do it properly. And I'm just like, Jesus Christ. That was one of the most. That was one <laughs> I of love the his reactions. I've ever seen he gets so game. pumped and I, I love it. Like there's one character. Because uh, I love Bo Yilari, I, I like his content that, a lot, so it's good to have somebody like this the guiding him. The very him. fact that they've done this and how they say the like how they do the incantation, mm -hmm. I was just like, whew, 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 fight, fight. <laughs> so, so they're they're reaping what they've sowed. Yep. It, it, yeah, degree, it seems yeah. like it's so many in so many cases, it's mm -hmm. just more than sum of parts equals big win. There that's, you go. That's that's basically the entire big true. Like, yeah, 100%, like completely insane. Man, 100%. Is that why, say, Levi uh, Nussman here was able to super us saying, the best way I can describe the difference is, wow, content lately feels like something to do. FF14 feels like some place to be. 
Is is that just uh, like a you know is it a comment like that just more like a manifestation of only if you play both games your character so. feeling more personal and yeah. then I guess no, not necessarily PG ish things like yeah. I've just noticed like the the dress up side of this game is really big. I think the I think the big reason that that comment says something if you will I think right now WoW is stale I have quit WoW altogether but I played through Castle Nathria like six or seven out of ten mythic so I definitely played the high end um you know I got my Keystone Master as well um it just feels stale right now and that comment in particular uh as far as WoW feels like something you have to do versus uh final feeling like somewhere you need to be i think that is a byproduct of the staleness of wow and people going i want to spend my time doing something different and people who enjoy the mmo genre are like this mmo seems to be successful there's a free trial in here critically acclaimed expansion heaven's word uh where they can come in and not feel like they have to drop all this money on a game they potentially might not enjoy um so that it I think they might have taken it a little too far out of its context. Uh, it it just feels like the barrier to entry has changed because so many more people are bursting through that barrier. Like the glam community, you've got your free company housing, uh, the way mm. that crafting and stuff like that. No works reason why I can't put just housing in. More important. Crafting's you know, big. I just I just wonder if you know it's those things have came together very successfully uh, mm. for this game. Sure. Generally, yes. Generally, everything they do on that front is miles ahead of what other like similar games do i said of maybe in some weird sense osrs maybe never played but it's like the idea of all of your craft is up for housing how you craft yeah you can craft stuff your house. like catch up sometimes right and then let's not even talk about how crafting is its own entire own game it's its own game <laughs> yeah like, i was gonna say it's its, it's own it world seems to put more work into designing crafters and gatherers than actual jobs uh, <laughs> which is wow. interesting but might be a reach like people are saying glamour is a true end game it absolutely is no it absolutely is good no it's, it's not but then it's the idea of like that it's almost like the such uh, a dumb phrase Algalon achievement for killing that at the right thing that's what i was saying right for idea. bahamut I what the title was. you know like but that's what people are saying yogg zero lights in the dark achievement uh you know in old war is the one that stands out the biggest where it was like only some people are going to be able to do this and only the best skills are going to get it. Or even you go to Wrath of the Lich King, uh, well, same expansion, but you go to uh, Nax Ramus in this situation where, um, you know, you had two different achievements based on your raid side. Uh, 10 man was Undying and 25 man was Immortal for clearing all the bosses, which I think is 13 in total. It's four wings of 12, 14 in total. No deaths on any of the bosses. And, uh, it might seem like, oh, okay, that's what you kind of have to deal with. No, it is difficult because if you have a death on boss number 11, you're just screwed for that week. It's your shit out of luck. Like ultimate stuff is, it is just, uh, this is stuff that you can't cheese. Right. Oh, I can't, can't cheese yeah. it. You exactly. That, and it doesn't matter if you were playing an ARR and got it. Right. Or if you managed That's why it's still relevant. It's great. Week. Absolutely remarkable stuff. What a what great design. From Shooter mm -hmm. uh, Shotter. Shotter? Shotter. Shotter, yes, you said. Mm. Imagine an ultimate fight in WoW where we fight Lich King plus Sindragosa and the Blood Queen That's in a lot. an alternate version where Tyrion <laughs> stayed frozen and Frostmourne didn't break. This is an ultimate. <laughs> Damn. Uh, I mean, that that's pretty, pretty close. Big. Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> close. Really, really looking I mean, if you look at really Ultimate Alexander, actually doing that, it's pretty close. A huge way. I don't know if well, when I'll be able to get Ultimate on the go, but I definitely do want to try it yeah. sometime. There's, yeah, there's I also want to get from, on that. Uh, from Sailness uh, Night Feather. Yeah. Uh, Swell? Yeah. I'm yeah. so. Right, so. here's the thing. When you are uh, <laughs> dyslexic as fuck uh, and you actually look at words, it's very hard to pronounce them phonetically sometimes. So sorry. Uh, night feather. Uh, let expense Sims. contract Ian become instant champions from beyond the rift. Heed my call. Yep. Apparently that is the, the line that's spoken it. when the duty. Yeah, when it comes to canon. That's it. Yeah. Expense contract Aeon becomes That's instant. fun. It's class. Yeah. It's um, a really good one. Cool. Um... So that's great that it's gripping him in. It looks like that he's really enjoying himself. And, uh, you know, it, it feels feels good kind of having this guy, Matt, on the other side, who's kind of his Sherpa in this situation and kind of ushering him into uh, 
hopefully playing more. Again, it doesn't sound like he's gotten too far into it. I do like some of these comparisons. Um, there are major differences between these two games, WoW and Final Fantasy. Of course, Bellular's content is WoW-driven, so there's going to be a lot of parallels there. But, uh, you know, it. each of these games have systems that work, and each of them have systems that don't work. Final is not perfect. There are some things that don't work. And uh, in that regard, you know, I the worst thing either community can do is look at other community and say, our game's better than yours because we do this better. It's like, well, yeah, that one aspect is better, but, I mean, we do this better. You can go all day. It's Each game is good. Each game is good. I no longer enjoy playing WoW, but that doesn't mean it's not a good game. You know, and that's, I think that is something that I've been struggling with is, you know, seeing the differences in communities. Final Fantasy's community is extremely, extremely welcoming. They want more people to come play the game. I'm pretty sure today's June 10th. I'm pretty sure Final has now surpassed WoW as far as, like, active players, which, uh, you know, you if you've been playing Final for any amount of time, you would never have guessed that because WoW's just been such a juggernaut for so long. But, uh, again, WoW's been at the top of the game for a long time because it's good, not because it's bad. So uh, we'll move into the next video so that way this one doesn't run too long. This is going to be uh, titled, What Makes Final Fantasy XIV So Good from Bellular? So we'll get right into that. It's like nine and a half minutes on this game or uh, this, this video. To me, it feels miraculous that I finish playing like however many hours of single player content in Shadowbringers, like 30. Right, he already 30. said that. That's just 5-0. 30 leveling but i'm not leveling i'm never mm, leveling. maybe I'm not thinking, you're playing a story in yeah i'm playing yeah. through a story excuse me and then at the end of that story i am level 80 mm -hmm. i've had an incredible experience i've had 30 hours of this shit is absolutely incredible mm -hmm. actually that's uh that's a big point because it ties mm -hmm. into a super actually um yeah, yeah from that? stephen williams uh with mm. the recent realm reborn revamp yeah. that came mm -hmm. with the Shadowbringers patches. Every friend I have who didn't like ARR made new characters and like it now. Yeah. And that's likely my situation because I've, oh, yeah. not, I've not done a yeah. single cycle. Big time. I'm yeah. just following the MSQ. Yeah. And As the you should the first line. time you played that's this. That's all I'm doing. I mean, you think you have to, you have to follow the Archer one. Yes, we do. Um, yep. And it's been great. In so order I think to get a whole bunch of people who maybe good. saw the initial ARR maybe yeah. a year or two ago, it seems like it's way, way, way better now. Yeah. But Three so years ago. Been the single player episode, July and then at the end 2019 of the is when Shadow came out. Yeah. And you're like, no, the MMO is fully featured. It has mm -hmm. loads of community stuff. Mm -hmm. It has loads of features you can do to engage with community. Yeah. You can have your, you know, you can have your free company housing. Mm -hmm. You can get your own. This apartment. is a great system. You can go stand in the street as a bard mm -hmm. and play music on the guitar they recently added or any number mm -hmm. of instruments. You can play them yourself with the your recorder. Buttons, or you can plug in a program to play them for you. Yeah. Just play music for ah. you. Uh, you can go do your, like, really, do your savage difficulty stuff where you go get a party of it and go, mm -hmm. right, this is, this is, we're going to spend a couple hours trying to progress this tonight. You can go do that. Yeah. You can go do everything else an MMO can offer, essentially. But it just comes at the end of this. It comes at the end of this incredible single player experience with yeah. some of the MMO bits, combat wise. Sprinkled in throughout. And you just turn around and go, I'm in this world. Here. Oh, I'm in an MMO. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm in... Oh, the, it does feel that way, which is good. It feels like the MMO part of the game takes place inside this incredible single player game, in a sense. Hmm. Instead of there being like neither hurt for the other. Exactly. Yeah. And that's you can get a lot done during solo play. I feel like these two, what you kind of imagine is very distinct things, blend together perfectly, and like it's better than the sum of its parts as a result. Yeah. Agreed. That's, that's why people love it so much, I think. Um, completely insane. No, there's, there's a few yeah, the, one of the biggest issues while I was having right now is um, finding like-minded and like-skilled players to do stuff. Uh, unfortunately, there's other community issues that I'm not going to dive into that drive a lot of those decisions. But when you think about endgame content in WoW, it's raids, Mythic Plus, PvP. And no matter what, you need somebody else at least one other person to do that content. PvP, you need at least one other person to do 2v2 arenas. Uh, you look at dungeons, you need four other people in order to do dungeons, and you need four other competent people in order to push the Mythic Plus system even higher. Then you look at raids, if you are doing normal, you can be as little as 
six people realistically 10 is kind of the lowest uh all the way up to 30 that includes heroic difficulty as well you get into mythic and it's 20 so if you are pushing the highest end game you need 19 other people and if you've learned anything over the years like that can be tough to get consistently and so that's that's super difficult and where final excels is you do have some of those same parameters it's a little bit lessened i think uh you know with dungeons i, I haven't really experienced pvp much so i can't talk about that for 14 but uh with dungeons it's three other people or they have found a way to make it so that you can run these dungeons with ai characters and that alone can say hey i'm not really interested in playing with people today or i can't find the people i need I can go do this with some AI characters and still get that progression, if you will, or uh, that that push feeling done. Whereas, uh, you know, you can't do that in the raid, but the raids are only eight. So it's only seven other people, which feels a little bit more manageable um, than 19, per se, if you're going to compare Savage to Mythic content in this, this situation. So it's nice that Final does solve some of those issues, but it comes with its own issues where if you only do single-player content, you don't ever really truly believe you're in an MMO other than seeing people in the uh, major hubs. So supers, I think I, yeah, just to make sense to cover now because, mm -hmm. um, I mean, yeah, people actually, it's FF stuff. Yep. Um, so yeah, Nino of last, uh, unicorn mentioned, mm. remember to go back to key NPCs every now and then after big events, totally the dialogue will update as things throughout the game. The world. Oh yeah, of course. He because says, of course. Are, that's so, <laughs> so alien foreign. To me yeah. In a world where, you know, yeah. normally it's like everything is siloed off in its own mm -hmm. time zone. Yep. Uh, with, with how the wild stuff goes. So I think that's that's kind of interesting. It's really yeah, cool. The whole world, like it is, it is a single player game. That also makes that world like, feel better, oh, this bigger. Is the, this is the old stuff. Don't think about it. It's out systematized. It's yeah. just, oh yeah, here's here's other stuff. Yeah. Yeah, there was. Oh, uh, yeah, there's another My favorite one from, character is uh, Lena. Kenyan Duggan who said, In FF, you actually build relationships with other characters, especially the Scions. In WoW, you have no mm. personal stake in the NPCs. It feels lonely. Yeah. And I think that's an interesting sure. thing because I've spent quite a bit of time with Thrall and Jaina and you know, all of these people. And I'm like, my character's not really treated as one of the gang. Right. I'm just like this mm. sort of cold, detached champion, right. Raw Walker. Yeah. yeah. Or yeah. whatever. Mm hmm. So, uh, especially you know, I after saving all their asses in Shadowlands stuff yet, I think that had to be teased to me. These warriors, yeah. the light, and all that stuff. Um, I'm interested to see what that feels like in my own character before I draw mm -hmm. my own conclusions. But certainly, yeah, in in WoW, it, it it's felt like they've uh, they've struggled a little bit in kind of ingratiating the player character sure. to those NPCs. Now, that was never a problem in the past because mm -hmm. you, the player, really weren't that important. Yeah, you weren't. You were just a band of adventurers. Right. So it seems like uh, there's maybe a few They haven't updated the there. model. That's yeah. why. Whereas you FF, still stick. You start off as an adventurer. Right. And people are like, who's this cunt? Who's this? <laughs> who's this? Who's this? Okay. Who's, yeah. what's, what's going on here? What this guy's... Doing? And then you're like... Well, this guy's well, funny. I'll give you a hand. And then there is like a plot reason you're like important. Sure. Well, but you are like... Especially you know, in Shadowbringers. Oh, the, the crystal stuff. Yeah, yeah. You, are, you are one of Highland's chosen, but... I mean, yeah, also an AR. Doesn't matter. It's not like, chosen and one, we need you. It's like, and oh yeah, you're the strong one. Mon for, mon, for the, mon, mon for the crack. And then, you know, you meet other people doing stuff because naturally you're drawn to problems. Sure. Yeah. You're strong. Other people are drawn to problems. You solve problems. You end up yep. following along for a while and suddenly, like, characters speak to you like, you know, ah. Uh, like you're not an asshole. I'm trying to think of when it was. But there is a point in time where like characters show genuine concern for your character mm. and in a way that you're like oh oh this my character belongs in this world it is one of these people yeah that leads on to dust little super who said mm. my character in ff feels more real than my wow character my ff character has small decisions that she makes and people that interact with her on a personal level mm -hmm. yeah the, which the, i guess it's that sort of thing in wow it's a stay a while and listen vignette yeah sure you just kind of you stand there you listen to two people have a conversation that are blizzard's yeah. characters and the story yeah. blizzard wants to and tell they are telling that story uh, is it perhaps more the case in ff that like a lot more of that actually do you want to do you know what i think it fundamentally <laughs> is right uh and this mm. is a core thing to writing in ff it is basically all framed as conversations between right. you and it's people. dialogue choice uh, and yes you actually can pull off something that feels like a conversation even though you do not speak a word right so it, like that's something that's been done until in, later like, playing games with yeah. silent protagonists for years and years and years mm -hmm. it works really well in ff yeah whereas for how blizz does it it's just kind of like quest log click done 
and maybe sure. an npc will talk at Excuse you me. if you're lucky and you're playing the content that's like you know a little bit more right. effort's being put in so i, I think it. doing that via you know conversations hmm. i think is a pretty big thing there's another download the immersion add-on for world of warcraft yeah. There's another thing that there's another thing that, that helps that, and that is even though you don't speak for a lot of the game, uh, you do shadow bringers eventually that are uh, specific lines that are really really Stormblood. good, cool, and really like they are they are like you know there are times where you're given a dialogue choice and you're just like I need to I need to pick what to say doesn't matter but it's what your character it's just flavor yeah yeah and it's like well this is important how i address this person with their mm -hmm. problem whatever else i mean even little bits of lamp shading like that work yeah it, it, uh, it works because it allows yeah. you to role play your character Fuck and have your character shading. fit yeah. what you think it should fit or yeah. how it should be uh <laughs> which is important even if that is not mm. a big like you know my gameplay will change depending on what choice i make yeah that it, yeah that, it doesn't that change it never all. happens but it doesn't right. matter because your character's making this choice and there's a couple of them in shadowbringers that like they they winded me like having to choose what to say. Shit. But that might be further past. I mean, there's some stuff that I remember in just 5 the characters' out. emotes going. Or, yeah, yeah. Or, it's way yeah, farther or ahead. In some cases, when someone's like, "Right, mm. let's go fight," and your character just does the does like the the default like I can't remember what emote it's actually called, but it's like a yeah. yeah. But then exactly. you just do that and nod, <laughs> and you're like, "Yeah, let's yeah, go. totally." Let's do that. Yeah, because whenever a character in WoW does like a nod or a thumbs up, it's not mm -hmm. just, yeah, cool, do that. It's, yeah. right? Like, it's a humongous facial animation. Sure. It's all exaggerated. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's like, it's goofy. Mm -hmm. I th oh, man. Sort uh, of, if yeah. If only they could go back in time to the mm -hmm. character revamp of WoW yeah. and make it less goofy. Because it is way too goofy for the... It's what they wanted, I think in though. a bunch of ways, hardcore genocide, including story, that yeah. they want to tell. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And we have these super goofball characters. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's yeah, like, you know, look it. at Jane and how she, like, her Another face Another minute, moves. I won't like, pause. Jane, goofball. Mm. Just wait till Why the do end. you sound like that? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you crying? Why are you crying while well, going? Right. Yeah, it's, really right. Yeah, it's like, all yeah, that yeah. crying animation they play, and yeah. it's like, man. So you know, bad. And the thing about those WoW animations is they work pretty well for an NPC emote in an MMO because you're viewing it from far away. That's why they are so exaggerated. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. something you will get when you have actors who are super used to performing in a theater context, mm -hmm. and you move them into TV uh, and, and movies. TV. Yep. So in theater, Way they'll, you know, they're performing to an audience that is farther away, right? So yeah. often in theater, you find that like actors of, you know, they're really very expressive yeah. with their body. Um, yeah, and definitely. sometimes they will then struggle with a little bit of like some of the subtlety and stuff that goes on when mm -hmm. it's in TV and it's all like up really close. Um, I think it's a similar thing that can kind of happen with, uh, you know, with WoW, right? Where it's to like a those degree. notes are designed for one context. And then we pull the camera, we put it up close. Well, now we're using the same emotes, but not mm -hmm. in the context that the designers initially made them for. Yeah. So that's a big thing. Yeah. Okay. Um, cool. So brought up some really good points in that, you know, about what makes final as good as it is. Uh, you know, I, I definitely agree with some of his points. Again, it still feels like he's being very... Um, direct and uh, almost like he's throwing shade without trying to uh towards wow when they don't do something as well as this game and that that's a problem for me because i play both i'm not a fanboy of either or played both uh not a fanboy of either but at the same time it it doesn't they are two different games some again some will ex one of the games will excel at one thing one of the games will excel at another thing just because one does it better doesn't make the other one complete dog shit. And it just feels like that's kind of the point he's trying to get across a lot of these times. So, uh, I don't know. It, it seems to be a little much sometimes. So, uh, okay, cool. So, we did two videos. It's right around the length that I was hoping that it was going to be. Um, so, that's great. I will put the links to the uh, in the description to these videos. If you want to watch these videos... 
before you watch my video without any of the commentary those will be on all the descriptions of all my reaction videos just so that you can um, not hear it with all these pauses or me speaking over them um, if that is something that interests you so uh, thank you so much for giving me your time today uh, if you like the video make sure you hit that like button down below if you want to see more of this content hit subscribe make sure you hit that bell notification so you know when stuff's going up if you want to talk about anything that I talked about within this video, drop a, a line in the comments. I will definitely reach out and uh, have open discussions. That's something that I'm striving for and I want. I want open discussions, not volatile ones. We're here to enjoy ourselves because that's what video games are about. So I'm Drew for Future Strategy Gaming. Thanks so much. Peace.